Hey guys, wanted to do an update on the meat drying that I've been up to. Uh, first, I got a new hat. It's a Stetson. It's a nice heavy quality felt and I reshaped the crown yesterday dry and still working on the brim. Anyway, I'm pretty excited to have a, uh, a new hat. Pretty, uh, I really like this one. So anyway, the meat, it's been two and a half weeks now that I've had it. More like two weeks that it's been up here drying through rain and shine. And uh, some of it is starting to get dry. Let's see, I had a piece. Well, most of it still has a way to go. I like to dry it until it breaks. So it's like bone dry. Not like pemmican where you could uh, eat it or like jerky. So this piece is kind of breaking. So that one might be done. The thinner pieces. But a lot of these are still spongy. Let's see if I can show that to the camera. So these thick pieces. This is pretty good, but it's, it's spongy still. So... It's got a ways to go. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, we started to get warm weather where flies were coming out. And that wasn't cool. But then it got cold again. So that was cool in many ways. So that's the latest on this. I also have some other pieces that are just sitting out. I'll show you those. So this is some thick pieces here, like this is a whole ham that's still soft and a couple of a couple of full legs. So they've been here for the wind, that helps to dry them, but they've also been out in the sun and none of it smells bad. Like there's no smell to this at all. A little bit over here when I smelled it earlier. And uh, so early on, I did have some that smelled really strong. It didn't smell bad. It was just um, strong, like I say. So I ate it. I thought it would be fine, but it did give me a bit of an upset stomach. And uh, so I quit eating that stuff. And I don't know why it went bad. And I'm sure there's a lot of people watching thinking, well, of course it went bad the way you're treating it. But most of it hasn't and I've been eating it and feeling fine uh, so the question is why some of it did and uh, it may just be that some bacteria took hold right away or uh, that I kept it in the wrong conditions for too long at the start but uh, I mean there was a piece that would go that was bad and then a piece that was fine right next to it so not really sure but the smell test is reliable, so uh, it's not necessarily to smell a bad smell, but if it smells strong, apparently that's uh, something to be avoided. Or just cook it more thoroughly, uh, or soak it in vinegar for a while. Anyway, I've been eating it, and it's safe. Uh, I'm glad that it cooled off so the flies aren't a problem, because otherwise I was going to have to take this inside and put it above my wood stove, and... Uh, and uh, treat it like a sauna in there, a dry sauna, and uh, dry it. So I also have some still on the carcass, and I'll show you that. So this piece here is still pretty soft, but it doesn't smell bad. So uh, one of these days I'm going to cut that out and eat it and I think it'll be just fine uh, you'd be surprised yeah in there where it's fresh it doesn't stink uh, you just you'd be surprised I mean this is what people did for thousands of years uh, basically uh, people just ate off of the carcass a lot and um, so it goes against our norms these days but those norms were established by the government to take control of the food and uh, you know a lot of things like uh, mad cow disease and uh, bird flu that didn't come from stuff like this that came from poor conditions 
of the food industry by uh, cramming all these animals together and increasing profits and efficiency and then the d weird diseases come up it's not from stuff like this uh, they just want us to think that I mean this can be unsafe if you're stupid about it but if you learn a few of the principles uh, and avoid stuff that smells bad you're fine and even that meat that I ate it didn't hurt me that bad I've got a pretty strong stomach and um, so it's more about convincing us that this is unsafe and that the practices of the government are safe and uh, that way they've got control of the farming industry and the meat industry and uh, they can get all kinds of money in their pockets from those farmers who are big enough to afford that kind of thing so anyway that's my rant and uh, I know a lot of people are still scared of it no matter what I say but uh, I know there's a lot of people who are curious also so I just wanted to demonstrate this and show you um, hey here's my turkey <laughs> I don't know if you can see her uh, so next I'll show you the meat that I've been eating off of hey turkey hey silly <laughs> She's such a loving animal. So this is the meat. Oops. So this is the meat that I eat. I've just got it out here outside my door. Uh, it's pretty dry on the exterior. Let's see. This was totally red when I sliced it off. Like this piece, you can see. You know, for one, that it's been eaten by the birds. But also that this was all uh, fresh red when I cut it and now it's starting to dry up again so inside of it it's uh, really fresh so I just slice it and uh, cut it into little pieces and uh, simmer it for about an hour because this is good cuts so they're pretty tender to begin with the exterior is nice it just tastes like jerky and then the interior is really tender and uh, flavorful I cooked that up with some onions and rice and uh, yeah I just leave it out here rain or shine uh, once it's got that protective layer, it really helps. Uh, don't even have to flip them, really. But, uh, yeah, very unconventional to what most people would be doing or thinking about this. So, there you go. I wanted to do an update. I know a lot of people had questions. Uh, a lot of people are going to be surprised at this or, or insist that it's uh, unsafe. And I like to also remind people that I'm in a very dry climate. Uh, like I wouldn't do this like in England or back east or uh, in the south where it's really humid I find I think that a lot of it works because it's so dry here and uh, also it's cool enough if it wasn't so cool it would dry way faster but I would need to protect it from flies I think so there you go hope you enjoyed that I'll catch you guys on Saturday morning on the live video. Over and out.